Yeah. Yeah. They start pulling him up, and then the 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 chick fucking just shits in his like literally. You see it. She shits in his face, and then he falls I back down. I don't know why. I don't know why that scene to me was like comedy and more than like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, started busting yeah. up, dude. Because I, it was so quick. Like, she must have had that ready for him the whole time or something, dude. Like, like I just don't know. <laughs> Damn. And that dude, like, I wonder if Barat had to eat anybody. He doesn't. I don't know. If, he's obviously insane. But they, they do have so many good side characters. What would you guys' just, like favorite character be out of this whole out of this whole movie? I would have to say, uh, in all honesty, um, uh, what uh, Trimagasi is so good. Yeah, as an actor, right? Yeah, he. I feel like he just sells this entire thing, and he's so creep. Like the fact that he was able to creep us all out. He just he does his job so well. Even after death, when he comes back as the as like the as a ghost and shit, it's still so powerful. And he's still there to the end frame. Where he's like, uh, where he's calling him like my my snail. He's like, don't call me, don't call me yeah. that anymore. <laughs> yeah, it, it starts with them and it ends with them, dude. Sort of, I think it does. Yeah. Yeah, the descent into to madness or maybe uh, death. Clarity. It depends on how you, I guess, perceive the ending. Whether he's yeah. he's really done or he's just accepted his fate. It's weird. I don't know. I think mine yeah. is um, um tr- uh, not Trimagasi, Emo Giri, because she doesn't say a word throughout this whole movie, but she has the whole middle part that helps carry it on in a sense, like with the like supposedly a child in this facility. But like it's like, but it's confirmed that she was a loner and all that, and she also plays like the badass mute, like the guy from uh, Snowpiercer, and like you just get that like, oh, she's gonna do some fucked up shit the whole movie. Like obviously she spit that dog open and she fucks those first two up, first two dudes up, and she honestly she goes up and down that thing getting down the whole time so that's that i i, I kind of like that little side story and she also uh, a big a big thing you left out is she saves goreng uh our our, yeah. our main character because she i feel like she low-key knows that he's like not the same as all these other people that are in here and that because he showed her <laughs> compassion uh, when she comes down the first time and he's like genuinely concerned with her, she remembered that when she gets back to him and she fucking lets him have his vengeance. And I love, I love that part so much. Yeah. 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 That's what makes her so interesting to me. But yeah. What about you, James? Ooh, you I have have any- to, yeah. I have to say, um, uh, Trumagasi as well. Uh, but I, I, like Wes was saying, his character was so like creepy and weird. And he did a really good job of playing that. And um, for some reason, whenever I was watching it, he reminded me of like an anime, like villain, or like some like like toad monster from like Dragon Ball Z or something. So um, I, that's I kept on him uh, picturing that when he would talk. So, uh, but I really did like his his character in that. So um, yeah, I think he was just just the way he played that character was was really on point. True that, dude. That guy, I can't believe it, dude. And I thought at first he was the voice for the uh, the fawn in fucking uh, Pan's Labyrinth, but I noticed there were different actors. But how how he totally sounds like him, and I I thought he sounds like the fawn in Pan's Labyrinth, but he has that voice, that aptitude without no fucking uh, like boost in his voice. Like he just like has it. And I was about to, I wish Diego was here because I wanted to talk to him about the Spanish because some of it seemed like off to me. And I, I don't know if he could confirm that if he's watched it, but I wanted him here to, like to say like certain parts were kind of we- like weren't worded correctly on the um, on the fucking uh, subtitles. But yeah, the, the, it's, it's 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 a whole fucking crazy movie. I loved it. I, I I'm so glad you guys watched it and got into it. Because obviously, 
I mean, we all got some crazy movies, but I think I've brought in some the work, some of the craziest ones with Bat, Bat Basket Case not being the favorite, but he, he <laughs> gotta admit that it was pretty insane. And then, uh, and then now this one, and uh, I can't wait. I don't think I'm gonna get a movie on December, so that's all. You, I think it's gonna be one. If we have all our co-hosts here, I think uh, it's. I'm, a, I'm not gonna get a Christmas movie, but I hope. I hope somebody busts out one of the Krampus movies, dude. That'd be dope. <laughs> but yeah, dude, that's. I brought this movie out too because we got Thanksgiving around the corner, and I just wanted to creep out and give a little weirdness to food. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So that what what a perfect movie than this one, you know. Actually, yeah, that's uh, I didn't even think about that. That is very ingenious, Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that's my whole thought. the the food the food in this is is <laughs> fucking filmed so well and it looks so good until they you know it's demolished by everybody and they I feel like they make it a point to show you like the devastation of everybody's greediness and it's kind of playing on that as well, you know. Where yeah, I I forgot what floor they were on in the first scene, but like, uh, you know how Chermagasi pisses on the food and shit. I was <laughs> wondering because when he picks up the food, it looks so fucking wet. He just picks up like a fucking piece of chicken, and you see like the food is just dripping and shit. And I was like, uh, dude, like I just uh, I know it's survival, but like, <laughs> and he God, and he dude. says, um, I think when they when they the first platform comes in the in the very beginning of the movie and uh Goring is trying to understand what's happening and uh what's them Trimagos he's eating like a savage and shit and and then when he's done and the platform's going and they throw the apple down and shit and he throws the champagne bottle and breaks the glass on the platform that uh, all across you know the food that these other people are probably going to start trying to eat and 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 Goreng is like, yo, why'd you, why'd you do that? Like, people are still going to eat off that. And he was like, he spits down there, too. And he's like, yeah, the fucking people above us, they did the yeah. same thing. The fucking scoundrels or whatever, you know? And I feel like that right there sums up that entire movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I love that saying, like, oh... Don't, uh, you could talk shit to the people below you because they're below you. <laughs> but if someone's above you, well, they're not going to listen to you because they're above you. I love that. I love that so much because that just shows society and yeah. like, people that are eccentric and shit like wouldn't really give a shit about a bum or like who knows? Like most of these people went into this place because they were bums and they thought this was the only way out. And this is the chance they took for a diploma or whatever. The the good thing was for, to get out of this. Yeah, I just thought it, right. yeah. It, it's kind of um, it, it's talking about how far would a would a human being go uh, for a less fortunate human being go for a chance at greatness, for a chance at something better in life. And for this in this film, in this mythos, it's that they're being offered some kind of degree. So when they get out. They can have, you know, a more, they can progress in whatever world that, that, you know, this mythos uh, works in. Mm -hmm. That's why they go through all of this, this tragic craziness is just to get like, uh, get on the upper hand when they get on the outside. But do they ever really, you know what I mean? Like, do they, does it really ever end for anyone or is it just a setup? Yeah, I, I, I wonder. I wonder since they delivered the cake at the end, did did this bring down the vicinity or like what was the like? I know they brought it up there to piss off the the chef or whatever. Yeah, because they expect all that sh- the food to be gone, but they see this nice pina cotta, perfect and pristine, untouched, and go back up. And they and then the movie kind of ends, but they're all so pissed, and the the chef just starts throwing stuff around. And get pissed off at everyone, and he would even get pissed off like uh, when he found hair from his fellow chefs on the food. I guess like one of the food had hair in it, and then he started punishing people. Like I don't know if anyone caught that. It yeah, yeah kind of yeah. weird. But and I like how they consider that part of the story too. And they show that um, they show without dialogue, right? That's why a big yeah, reason why I was yeah. saying that 
I feel like this film, you could watch it may, probably with the sound off and through the images, uh, you would be able to piece together exactly what, kind of what's going on, in my opinion. Truly, yeah, definitely. And uh, any more thoughts on this one, guys? Um, a, it was a hell of a pick, Tiny. Yeah. 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 Was this your first uh, time watching it, James, or like, you watched it a few times before? No, I, I've never seen this one, so it was pretty cool to watch it for the first time like this. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, dude. I'm glad you liked it, dude. Yeah, dude, I look for this type of stuff, and it, either in Spanish, English, Korean, uh, English, English, like, like fucking UK, mm-hmm. anything like that, um... I, I try to find this for us and for many other people because I, I I like to have movie nights with my friends and shit, have a few beers and watch some crazy shit like this. So this oh, is yeah. the stuff I, I like to bring to the table. And I, I, I really think you guys will like his house because it's like the first... Uh, so I saw people comment that that is going to be... That's like the first serious horror movie that's come down. I think it's out of England, dude, like the UK. And I think you guys are going to enjoy that one too. And uh, man, I, I, I'm pretty sure once you guys watch that, it might become like a, a, a main focus one of these days near in the future. But yeah, uh, I, I, I'm glad I, I, you guys enjoyed it, dude. Yeah. All right, first up, uh, Trimagasi and Gorang, the, the these two, the the two main characters essentially say the word obviously a total of 26 times throughout the film. <laughs> the, Obviously, the, fi- <laughs> the final level reads three hundred and thirty-three, which is half of the devil's number six hundred and sixty-six. Uh-huh. Piggybacking off of that, uh, since there is three hundred and thirty-three levels and two prisoners for each of those levels, that would make um, a total of six hundred and sixty-six prisoners in theory. Yeah. yeah. Imagine how fast the bottom ones died. Like, fuck. <laughs> they just ate each other right away. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, is the... Is this whole... Like, signing up for that with the administration, is that even fair? Like, can anybody actually survive knowing that turning to cannibalism is going to cre- like uh, affect your mental health Overall, once you get and out, send, yeah. Once and you then send it back to society and shit. Yeah. Like, well, imagine once you get out, will you be able to function as a normal human ever again? You know what I mean? That's and that's what I think. Um, why this movie plays so well with Cube? I don't know. I don't know. I know James hasn't seen Cube. Have you seen it yet, Anaris? Yeah, I've seen it, dude. That shit's that shit's crazy too. It has the trial and error of a human being and all that shit too. Yeah, like, yeah. And how you don't good. you don't really know what the overall objective is, even. And it, it's sometimes better to go off your best judgment the whole time. Yeah, like the whole the beginning of the movie was thriving off that. But everyone's like, let's let's fuck it, let's climb this fucking thing and crawl through, and that's where they fuck. Me. I don't want, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Cube is a good one. A bonus track. Check out Cube if you like the platform. And Snowpiercer, all these movies, dude, they're all sick. Definitely, it's like a little subgenre getting <laughs> going. Yeah, dude. But yeah, that's they're making it. Making their own movies. That's the end of. Uh, Short and sweet Twan facts for this week. Awesome, nice. dude. Short and sweet episode, I think, because we don't have obviously our other two co- uh, co-hosts. But yeah, dude. What do we have? Anything? Who is next after me? Does it loop again? Let's go back to James. Is it? It goes back to James, right? Um, James, do you know? I think I think so. Tony, you're the you're the you're the last on the list, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I think it's me, and then it goes to... Yeah, I think it's me. What do we got? What do we got? So I want to do something uh, pretty fun. I think it'd be interesting to do. I want to do uh, review... I don't think we've done this one. Um, Logan. Really? You guys haven't done Logan? 
no. doing Logan West? No, no. We, we you're thinking it's just because we we obviously we screened the movie. We had a.